Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by again. I had this huge goal of mine in my head. I was hoping and praying to reach at least 30 subscribers in my first first month of YouTubing. And you guys, I've marked it. I've marked it. I've hit it out of the park. I'm already at 30 some subscribers and it's only mid-February. So thank you so much for everyone that is that has subscribed and that is supporting my YouTube channel. Anyways, so thank you, thank you so much. It means so much to me. I really, really appreciate that. Um, and those of you that are new, my name is Elizabeth. I'm from Northern Alberta. So anyways, in today's video, I will be making cream puffs. Yep. Uh, one of our favorite desserts of all time. Alright, so to make cream puffs, we'll need some flour, salt, eggs, hard margarine or butter, not soft. Um, oh, and some water. Forgot half of my things. All right, so first off, we're gonna put in one cup of flour into our mixing bowl. There we go. So in a small saucepan, we'll need to put in the um, margarine. So I have half a cup of hard margarine or butter. We're gonna add half a teaspoon of salt. And then also one cup of water. Now we're gonna take it over to the stove and just melt it and bring it to a boil. So it's starting to boil, but I'm just going to boil it a little bit longer just until the margarine is all melted, but I think it's pretty much melted now. So this is what you should have. All right, so once we have the, have the water in the margarine, or once we have the margarine melted and brought it to a boil, we're just going to dump it all into the bowl, mixing bowl with flour. This is very backwards for me. And now you'll um, just kind of stir it all together vigorously, it says. So just until it um, the flour is all mixed together and it starts to kind of leave the side of the bowl, as you can see. So something like that. Still a little flour left, but so it's kind of sticking together now, leaving the edges of the the side of the bowl. Now we're gonna take the eggs and add them one by one, and beating each time after adding one. So um, you use up uh, three to four eggs depending on the side. Um, so I have I have farm eggs, so some of them are quite small. So I'm gonna. Just pick out the smallest one and then do four. All right, so just add them one at a time and then... <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Let's see if that's gonna work. Okay, so after each egg, just beat it up. Alright, so last egg. 
so once we have our batter all ready, we're gonna um, just put them in a, a baking sheet. I'm using a fancy scoop again. Uh, this one is a extremely small one. It kind of looks like you're playing when you're using this thing, but it's like very, very small. Um, these make bite-sized cream puffs. Um, I've used bigger ones before, but they're kind of funny because when you fill these cream puffs in, you take a bite, because they're not bite-sized, they're too big for that. And then anyways, if you take a bite, you'll be heating the person across the table with pudding. So, <laughs> not, cool, not cool. Anyway, so I found this super teeny tiny little uh, cookie scoop or candy scoop, I don't know what it's called, but it works perfectly uh, for bite-sized cream puffs. So that's what I'm gonna be using. I'm just gonna scoop them onto my baking sheet and then we'll bake them. Now the baking part is what's kind of tricky. Uh, well, I don't know, if really tricky, but you have to change the temperature of your oven. So I have it preheated at 425 now. So once I have one sheet full, um, I'll put it in for like five minutes and then turn it down to 350 and bake it another 10 minutes maybe but I'm using the small one, so if you're using bigger ones, you'll have to adjust the um, amount. The amount. Um. All right, so here we go. <laughs> like I said, it kind of looks like you're playing when you're using this thing, because they look so small, it's like, really? But anyway, so that's how they look. <laughs> They're super small, and it takes much longer using the, the small scoop, but I just prefer bite-sized cream puffs. They're just so much better in my eyes. So, we're just gonna fill this whole cookie sheet. And and another thing, when you do make cream puffs, only make one recipe at a time uh, because the first couple of sheets are gonna be, po possibly b look better than the last couple of sheets. But anyways, they, it still works, but I wouldn't make too many recipes at one time, especially if you're using the small one because you'll be scooping for a while here. They look so small, like. <laughs> All right, so there's one sheet of cream puffs. All right, so I'm gonna put them on the oven for, I'd say probably about five minutes at 425 and then I'll turn it down to 350 and maybe another 10 minutes. We'll see how, how they look once the timer goes. Nice. All right, so I think we're gonna turn the temperature down to 350 now um, and then We'll bake them another seven minutes and we'll check on them. All right, so I actually ended up adding another two minutes, so I baked them for around nine minutes now and I'll take them out. All right, so I'm just gonna dump them on a cooling rack to let them cool before I put filling on them. Now let's make the filling for the cream puffs. So for the cream puffs that I'm making today, I'll just put in pudding with um, whipped cream. I usually prefer or I like to actually use like homemade, made from scratch vanilla pudding to put in them, but I don't have any right now and I don't really feel like making some right now. So, <laughs> so we're gonna do it the lazy way and I'm gonna use instant uh, pudding. I'm just gonna make vanilla now but I might make some butterscotch or chocolate pudding yet later on. We'll see. But you can just put in whichever pudding you want to make. So yeah, I'll just use instant pudding. So I'll need three cups of milk. Mix. 
So I guess some fitting is really just make it according to the directions on the packet. So. So now that I have my pudding all ready and to go, it's nice and set, I'm gonna actually make my whipping cream. And this I'm actually gonna make from scratch. So I have my Tupperware whipper here. I'm just gonna pour in some whipping cream. Just an estimate, I'm probably not gonna use everything, but. And then I'm gonna sprinkle just a little bit of salt, add a little bit of salt, uh, vanilla, and then I'm gonna sweeten it with icing sugar. And this I'm just kind of gonna add and then maybe I'll add, uh, I'm gonna taste it, whatever, and then add more according to the taste. So I'm just dumping some in. And making whipped cream with whipping cream, you have to be careful not to whip it too uh, much because then you'll end up with butter and we don't want that. So. <laughs> Alright, so I think that is plenty thick enough. So, alright, so I'm just gonna mix a small amount of filling for now, and then I'll just put the rest in the fridge and mix it up another day because I do not fill the cream puffs all in one day. Like, I just kind of just fill enough for however much I need for that time because they do get soggy if you fill them um, too far in advance. So, I'm just gonna do maybe uh, three to one ratio with putting a whipped cream. I don't know, it's, I guess however you, much you want to put in. I'm just gonna mix that so it's a cream filled cream cup, I guess. Here we have our filling. And now I'm gonna actually use a Wilton decorating bag with this filling tip on it. It's kind of slanted. So it's Wilton 230, or number 230 in case somebody is interested. And it's actually called a filling tip. So this is what I'm gonna to use to fill up my cream puffs. So I just like to kind of fill them until I can kind of see it. Um, I don't know that like, <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, but anyway, it's just fill it until it's full, I guess. These are so, so good. So I'm just gonna fill a few here. Gotta try one, right? Those are super, super good. So I'm gonna clean up my kitchen, make myself a cup of coffee, and then do my scripture writing for the day. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you're gonna try making these. Thank you again and be sure to like this video if you enjoyed watching it as well as don't forget to subscribe and you can also uh, click that little bell not notification sign so that you won't miss, you so that you will be notified the next time I upload a video. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day. Bye.